Um, my name is Whitney Bilyeu, and I serve as the chair of the Libertarian Party of Texas, and I'm representing the party and myself. Um, not having the benefit of this amendment uh, or this uh, substitution, um, I'll have to alter my statement a little bit, but I'm still speaking in opposition. Um, Mr. Chairman, I speak today in opposition of this bill largely uh, in part, uh, in large part due to the countless unanswered questions, uh, as some of my colleagues already alluded to, but also due to the potential conflict with other proposed bills, existing legislation, administrative concerns that could um, impact due process and equal protection, as well as significant financial impact to the taxpayers, which I believe you just tried to address. I would also like to note that no one associated with this proposed bill consulted or even contacted me, the chair of the largest, uh, third largest, and fastest growing ballot qualified political party in Texas. Um, this move without conference is gratuitously disrespectful. The Libertarian Party, uh, LP Texas has been a political party since January of 1972 with consistent ballot access since 2004 and most of the time prior. We are ballot qualified through 2032 as it stands now under current laws that were just enacted four years ago. We've been nominating our candidates for the general election without the state's help for half a century. There are administrative concerns here. Uh, I know that you guys just tried to address some of those, but uh, you did mention that this would require um, all of the primaries to take place on the same day at the same time. So probably then joint ones. And I have concerns about who would be appointing the election judges and clerks and whether or not the Libertarian Party would be able to um, truly be represented there. Mr. Chairman, I'll close by noting that political parties are private organizations. They are not organs of the government, at least not in this country, and therefore the government should not be dictating their internal operations or nomination processes, and taxpayers should not be paying for them. Thanks Thank for your you, testimony. Members, any questions for the witness? Thank you for being here. Thank you.